Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It has been a long time since I filmed a video, a year to be exact. And I just wanna say I'm so sorry for not giving like a warning that I was gonna be gone for a year. I didn't plan to not film for a year. It kind of just happened because I've been so busy with work. I started a small business making clay earrings and I've been busy doing that and busy taking care of my son who is now two years old. He is the love of my life. I need to like come up with ideas of things to film because I think that's where I kind of wasn't sure like what I wanted my channel to be. I figured why not film an empties video, take it back to the OG YouTube days. I have a bag full of items that I've gone through in like the last year. And there's a lot of repetitive stuff because I kind of stick to what I love. This is kind of like a random area that I'm filming in in my house. It's my sunroom, there's a bunch of windows so it has a lot of light coming through. So if the lighting kind of changes throughout the video, I apologize. Let's just jump right in. Starting off with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. As you can see, I've gone through, I've probably gone through more than three cans of this. This is like an OG favorite of mine. I love, love, love this setting spray so much. Here we go with the lighting changing. Please bear with me. So this is just like an OG favorite of mine. I love the mist on this. It comes out so nice. It doesn't get clumpy on the face and it doesn't ruin your makeup that you spend a long time on. I hate setting sprays that kind of just like spit all over your face and take your makeup off. This is just a good OG setting spray and I love it so, so much. Next up we have my favorite, favorite dry shampoo of all time. This is the IGK First Class uh, Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. It is so good, it smells amazing. It really does take the oil out of your hair and it gives a lot of volume. I find a lot of dry shampoos don't really actually make your hair look clean. They kind of just give like a weird texture. This makes my hair feel like it's clean. It has an amazing smell. And this is just like the travel size. There's usually, I usually have like the full bottle, but I need to go repurchase this because I ran out and I miss it so much. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it's worth it. I will have everything that I'm talking about linked down below so that you guys can find things easier. Okay, next up we have some self tanner. This is my OG, OG ride or die favorite self tanner. This is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I think I have a couple different ones here. I have the Ultra Dark right here and then this one is the Two Hour Express in Dark. This is just my favorite self tanner. I've tried so many different self tanners and this one just gets super dark. It leaves such like a nice tone on your skin. Every time I wear it, people think it's like my real skin tone. It's just so good. It blends really nicely. Love the self tanner, it's amazing. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite body cream. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This stuff smells like a tropical vacation. It is just divine it's so so good i think they came out with like an actual perfume now because so many people love the scent of this it is so creamy it just makes your skin feel so so moisturized this scent lingers on my skin longer than a actual perfume does it has such an amazing scent to it and it will linger throughout the day that's why i love it so much because i can just smell it throughout the day and it almost smells like i have perfume on it is such a good product, not only for the scent, but it just really helps with any like super dry skin. It makes you feel just so moisturized, so, so good. This next product that I went through is, is the Kiehl's Nourishing Dry Body Oil. I actually went through this a long time ago. This stuff was really, really nice. I don't know if I will repurchase it. I feel like it's a good product to have in the summer because it really just gives your skin like that nice kind of glow to it. I've never tried a dry body oil. This is the only one that I've tried. If you're someone that doesn't love lotion, I think you would really like this because it dries really, really quickly and it leaves your skin really glowy. So I definitely loved this product. I probably will repurchase it in the future. If you're someone that doesn't love lotion, I would definitely give this one a try. I have so many candles that I have gone through, but this one made it to the bag, unlike the other ones that I probably just threw away. But this is I actually just finished burning this like last week. This is the Bath and Body Works Honey Crisp Apple. This is such a good fall scent. I know that we're into like the winter months now, so everyone's looking for like the Christmas scents now, but this would actually be good, I feel like, even in the winter because it leaves your house just smelling really crisp and clean. And if you love the smell of apples, you would love this. It is such a good scent from Bath and Body. This perfume 
holds a special place in my heart. This is the Armani Because It's You perfume. I used this on our first vacation with my son, and so every time I spray this perfume, it just brings me back. That's why I love perfumes, because they just take you down different memories that you use that perfume on that certain day. I'm so bad at describing fragrances, but this just smells divine. Like, it is so good. If you've never tried this perfume, definitely get like a tester and, and try it out. If, I can't explain what it smells like, but I went through this. I actually have another one in my beauty room that I currently am going through, but it is such a good perfume. Definitely a top five favorite of mine. Okay. We have a couple skincare products here that I went through. I went through two of the Neutrogena Hydra Boost water gels. These you can get at the drugstore. This is just like a go-to favorite, favorite moisturizer of mine. It is, I'm telling you, when I use like every last scoop, there's nothing left in here. It is such a good daily moisturizer if you have dry skin. It works really great if you're gonna apply makeup over it. It dries really quickly and it just makes my skin feel so hydrated. I actually did repurchase this one in my beauty room. Such a good daily moisturizer. Another one that I went through is the Clinique Moisture Surge, another favorite of mine. Went through this one, took every last drop out of it. It says it's a 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. If you have extreme dry skin, definitely recommend this. It is so, so good. It makes your skin feel like it drank a glass of water. It is such a good moisturizer. Definitely a top favorite of mine as well. And then this one I went through quite a while ago. It's the Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whipped Cream. This one isn't as like, I feel like it's not as moisturizing as like the water cream and the Clinique one. It's more like of a thicker consistency. I feel like these ones I liked a little bit more than this and this is not cheap. Drunk Elephant's extremely expensive. So um, I don't know if I will repurchase this one, but I did like it. I just, I feel like these ones were better for my skin. The Tree Hut body scrubs are my favorite body scrubs. I like to use these if I really just need to exfoliate before I self tan or if my skin's feeling itchy and dry. This is the Moroccan Rose, one of my favorite scents. It's such a good drugstore body scrub. If you are on the hunt for a good body scrub, definitely give this one a try. You guys, <laughs> can you tell that I like doing my eyebrows? Let me just say, if I didn't have time to do makeup in this last year, I was always filling my brows in. So as you can tell, there's quite a few brow products that I've gone through here. And this is probably not all of them, but you can see there's a clear favorite of mine in here. And that is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. If you like a very, very fine, thin point, to your eyebrow pencil, you will love these. And honestly, these remind me so much of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, it's like a dupe for me. It comes with the spoolie on one end and then the really small, fine point. I'm someone that really likes like a precise brow. Um, so I really love these because you can get that like little eyebrow hair with these. And I've gone through several of them. My favorite color is the taupe and the ash brown. Definitely an affordable option and honestly, just as good as the high-end ones. And then we do have a Benefit Precisely My Brow, another great eyebrow product, but I just haven't repurchased it because I like the NYX one and it's more affordable than this one. But definitely a good brow pencil. And then I did go through a Charlotte Tilbury um, brow pencil. I actually really, really liked this one. This is the Brow Cheat. Charlotte Tilbury just knocks it out of the park with every product they have. I just, they're definitely a top brand that I will always use. Um, I just haven't repurchased it because again, I like to use the more affordable option because brows is something that you go through. I fill my brows in daily, so I go through my pencils really quickly and it's just easy to run to Ulta and grab the um, NYX one. So I haven't repurchased the Charlotte one, but this one was definitely a good brow pencil. We have a lip product that I went through here. And wow, I totally forgot about this lip liner and I loved it. Love, love, love this lip liner. I think I'm gonna repurchase it now because it's. I totally forgot about it. This is the Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar Lip Liner. I love this. It does have the little twist end to get the product. I don't know if I if it broke off because it looks like there's still some in there. I'm gonna have to do some surgery on this when I'm done filming. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I'm kind of far away, but it's just kind of like a pinky nude. And those are my go-to lip liners. I love a pinky nude. So cream and sugar, definitely a favorite of mine. Now I need to go rebuy this. Oh look, another Morphe setting spray. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder has to be an all-time favorite drugstore powder of mine. And also, 
it honestly beats a lot of high-end powders I have been struggling with really textured dry skin recently so it's harder for me to find powders that don't look super cakey on my skin and this is just a great great powder i use the color fair it really works great at brightening up your skin as well so if you haven't tried the fit me maybelline loose powder definitely give it a try i love 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 this powder if you are a blonde girly you will love this product this is the cara color color conditioner in the color platinum they have a bunch of different colors they have like a pink a blue uh silver like a bunch of different colors and the way this product works is you put it in your hair as a conditioner in the shower and it helps to tone your hair um and i like the color platinum because it gives your hair just a really nice kind of like icy blonde shade it is a purple color I don't know if they're discontinuing this or if they already did or if they're rebranding it, but I've had a hard time finding it. So I'm going to be really sad. This is a go-to conditioner for me. It makes my hair legit feel like butter when I use it and it gives my hair such a pretty tone. It is one of my favorite conditioners ever. Um, so if you can find it and you have blonde hair like me and you're looking for kind of like a cooler tone, definitely try this. It's amazing. I went through two of my It Cosmetics CC cream. This is one of my favorite products ever. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydration Serum. This gives your skin such nice coverage, but just feels so good on the skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. I never have any issues with it. These are like busted and crusted as you can see like it's like wiping off. I always always have a backup of this in my collection. Um, I have two different colors. I have light here and medium tan. I like to have a few different shades for like the different seasons. It's just a great product. And then here we have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is a really good dupe for the IT Cosmetics. I really enjoy it. And this one is in the shade Light 240. I think I have a backup of, of this as well. If not, I need to go get one. Another reason why I love these products is because they have SPF in them. So I like to use these a ton in the summer. So I love to use these because of the SPF as well. And for me, it's just easier than foundation, but it gives the coverage of a foundation. I don't know how to explain it. If you've always wanted to try the IT Cosmetics one, definitely try the e.l.f. one. It's definitely a dupe. You guys, I found my favorite favorite contour stick ever it is the rare beauty bronzer stick in the color happy soul you guys i scraped this this is my favorite favorite cream contour ever cream contour has become like a daily product that i use in my makeup routine i feel so weird if i don't use a cream contour for some reason i feel like it makes my makeup lasts longer. I feel like it's still blurry. I'm so sorry if it is. I feel like cream contour just makes your makeup look smoother. It lasts longer and I just love it. I have definitely already repurchased this. I use this every time I'm doing my makeup and I just love it. It blends like a dream. Hello, why is it doing that? I am in the color Happy Soul. It definitely works great on my skin tone. It's not too dark, it's not too light. It's like the perfect tone. Love it, love it, love it. I did go through another bronzer stick. This was before I found the other one. This is the uh, Wet n Wild um, Cream Contour Stick in the color Where's Walnut. This one is definitely a great like drugstore option. Um, so if you are looking for like a more affordable cream contour, Wet n Wild does have some really good ones. This one is definitely darker. I think the one I used to like was oaks on you it's more of like a lighter warmer shade this one's definitely pretty dark the wet and wild ones are are really good but, but the rare beauty one just has my soul i did go through some tarte shape tape concealers this again is like another go-to concealer of mine has great coverage the only thing i've been noticing is my under eyes have been a little bit more dry so when i do use this it definitely does look a little tiny tiny bit cakey under my eyes recently i've been using the hourglass concealer the ambient i forget the name of it but that one has stolen my heart a little bit because it has great coverage and it's not overly matte and overly drying under my eyes this one can tend to sometimes look a little bit too cakey under my eyes if i apply too much but it's still such a good concealer. The Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara is one of my go-to mascaras. This one is its so old. Guys, I'm still blurry, I think. Have I been blurry this whole video? 
Okay, you guys, my battery is dying. I only have a few products left, but I don't want my camera to die. So let me know what you guys wanna see next from me. I don't know like if you guys still like makeup tutorials, if you wanna see vlogs, like what is it that you guys wanna see? Let me know down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And I missed you guys so, so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one, whenever that is.